And welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. I hope y'all enjoying y'all weekend, because I have no idea what the fuck I just got finished watching. And I'm clueless. The Fiance, written and directed by Mark Allen Michaels. <laughs> oh my god okay the movie starts off as you see these two guys they in the woods they running one guy got the camera but he keeps tripping and falling which is why people keep looking back when they running from something and they keep tripping and falling but then to make matters worse they stop for a second and the guy's like I don't know what the hell was that but you do now believe right and the other guy's like yeah man I definitely believe so they ran off again the guy drops his camera he tries to run back for it he runs off then we go into the credit scene. The music in this movie was pretty good. I like the music in this movie. That was pretty good. So you end up seeing this guy, Michael. You know, he's staring out at the city or whatever. He's looking out the window. And his sister rolls up. And she's like, listen, I need I need a raise. Because I bust my ass for you. And I want a raise. I want, I want my hard work to pay off. So first he gives her just a slight bit of a hard time. But he's like, okay, sure, why not? So he gives her a raise. So he's getting ready to propose to Sarah. Which is, that's his... You know, knew his fiance because he's been married before. He's been married like what two other times? Two times, yep. So he goes out to this cabin, okay? <laughs> Once he goes out to the cabin, he gets there. He's waiting on Sarah, which it took Sarah like 800 years. But even during the, during the times of this, there's other people that's just roaming around in the woods and they're coming across like, you know, body parts and bones and all this stuff. And the stuff looked fresh. So when the wife finally, you know, when the fiance finally get there at the house, the man didn't even get a chance to even see her first first show up because he's been waiting there for quite a while. He even toasting her before she even get there. <laughs> but then what makes matters worse is that she gets there, and that's when you see Bigfoot just standing up in the woods looking all crazy and scary as usual. Something happens to her outside, but he's inside playing loud-ass music. Then he finally sees her on the front porch, and next thing you know, the woman, as soon as he opens up the door, the woman just attack. Living shit off this man. For one, I feel sorry for this guy, Michael. Okay, let's let's go. Let's just let's just go down the line of how many limbs and shit he lost dealing with this woman. <laughs> okay, he lost what two fingers, mm -hmm. a big toe, mm -hmm. his nuts, I believe. <laughs> he lost that too. Yeah, because I know she bit down there. I saw that clear as day. Each and every time this man loses a part, he has to put it in his bucket of ice. And they put it in the refrigerator. I'm just making matters worse. He, he's in the bathroom. He's stuck in the bathroom. He's trying to call the cops because they keep getting prank calls. And he see her dancing to like some song that they had that he that he, he left on. But she was out there dancing all crooked, like <laughs> all crazy. And then he comes out there and then she go raw. He go back to the bathroom. They won't make matters worse. They keep jumping in. They jump in between timelines. So the story is a bit everywhere. So you're going to definitely have to be focused to understand this movie. Because the story will be uh, this. You see Michael one minute. And then Michael meets her parents. Because she wanted him to meet her parents. And it turns out that her dad is what? A, a Russian mafia? Mm -hmm. So they end up recruiting him. Which is he ended up selling his soul to them. And now they own him. And then they also screwed him over by saying he could have had $5 million dollars. As long as he bring them the envelope, but don't look at it. So the man end up taking the five million dollars and investing, and then they gonna got there to tell the damn man <laughs> <laughs> that they never said that the money was his. When I heard it, my wife heard it. Yeah. Everybody fucking heard that he could have damn money. It, it just, the movie was everywhere. It was cheesy as fuck, <laughs> extremely cheesy, and I I just I just just wasn't really feeling this film. I really mm. wasn't. Let's get the movie rated, shall we? I give this movie a big ass what? Like I said, y'all, this movie was just to me. It was just awful. I, I, I didn't, man. I don't even have the words <laughs> to it. You can check that if if you want to check this movie out. You can check it out on Amazon. You can rent it. You can buy it. I'm. I don't. I. I don't even know why I did that shit. I don't. Even, <laughs> you know, like you just walk into a movie. You don't know what to expect. What you saw. I just feel sorry for the guy, Michael. I, I, that's all I know. Yeah, that's it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the fiance because I told you what I thought about it. It's a big ass waste of time. But if you still want to dip and dab, your choice is best as mine. <laughs> 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 it's to all my movie lovers. I love you.